Hey guys, this is a Shinzo X listener. I hope you enjoy. This was actually requested, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. And yeah, enjoy the video. Shinzo just got an accepted to class 1A hero course. His girlfriend was in that class. He was very excited to be in the same class as her. When he got in, all the people were confused because they thought he was in general studies. When he enters the room, Yuan runs up to her boyfriend and wraps her arms around his neck, pulling him into a hug. All the people were left in shock because not many people knew that Shinzo and Yuan were in a relationship because they decided to keep it a secret until Shinzo entered a hero course and many people still were confused because they didn't explain it. They just walked to their sist and started talking. A few minutes later, Aizawa entered a class and asked Shinzo to go home in the front of the class. He said, Students, Shinzo will be joining us for the rest of the year and the semester, whatever. And just treat him right. Um, I will be sleeping. He will explain his work, etc. Now don't bother me. Um, Aizawa fell asleep in the corner and Shinzo said, um, Well, hello. You know, my name is Shinzo, and you made me at the sports festival, and that's it, ask questions. Immediately, all the class started asking questions. Midoriya asked about his quirk, even though he had already a few notations he got in the sports festival. The other guys asked him questions, and the question that most bothered you and of all sorts of them was from, from some of the girls. They all asked in unison and said, Shinzo, are you single? You felt yourself getting flustered and Shinzo shook his head and said, No, I have a beautiful girlfriend. All the class was left in shock because they didn't understand who his girlfriend was because you guys didn't explain it when you hugged him. So then he just walked to his seat right next to you. The classes flew by and it was time for lunch. Shinzo was going to have lunch with his old friends of general studies, but the girls interrupted him, saying, Shinzo, where are you going? asked one of them. He said, um, going to have lunch with my friends. They all shook their heads and said, no, no, you haven't lunch with us today. They pulled Shinzo into the cafeteria and you felt yourself getting angrier because they really were really close to your boyfriend and you didn't like that. You went to your usual table to have lunch. You sit with Deku, Ida and Uraraka. But Uraraka wasn't there. She was in the table with the rest of the girls and Chinzo. You felt yourself getting mad since your boyfriend was full of girls around him and he looked uncomfortable. Midoriya asked. Yuan, is everything alright? You look angry. You responded with an angry tone. Deku, do I look okay? He and Ida weren't scared. They never see you angry. You were usually a calm, cheerful girl. Not usually calm. But you were very jealous, especially over your boyfriend. Ida asks, Yuan, what's wrong? You seem out of context. Usually you are nice, now you are acting like Bakugo. You gave him a glare and said, Well, I will be so angry if all those girls went around my boyfriend. Midoriya and Ida were left speechless and said, In unison, Yuan, she's such your boyfriend? You responded with a nod and they said, Well, you should talk to him and get him out of the grasp of the other girls because he's a gentleman and girls like that, they're all around him because of that. You knew yourself better than anyone that Jinso was a gentleman, was handsome, was nice, was smart and we understand why girls liked him, even though he didn't get a full night's sleep, he was still gorgeous. So you understood that, but you didn't like that. The lunch passed and you guys headed back to class for the last two classes. You sat right next to Shinzo and when class was over, Jairosu, Uraraka and Mina approached Shinzo 
and Momo said, hey, Shinzo, I was wondering if you wanted to go with the rest of the girls to the mall today. We're going to have a fun afternoon, she said blushing. You felt yourself getting mad and Shinzo consented. He knew his girlfriend was a jealous wreck sometimes. He said holding your hand. I'm so sorry to inform you that I cannot attend with you because my girlfriend here, I don't think she will approve of this. So sorry. Then he kissed your hand. The girls felt silent as they looked at Chin Suan Yu and said, Oh, I'm so sorry, and we we'll leave. All the girls left, and you were left alone in the class with your boyfriend. He looked at you and said, Babe, are you jealous? You shook your head and said, Me? Jealous of you? Yes, yeah, sure. He then took your face in his hand and gave you a soft kiss and said, you know, you don't need to be jealous. I'm only yours and you're only mine. Got it? You gave him a kiss in response and said, I know that. I love you. I love you too. Want to go to the cat cafe? You nodded and you guys headed your ways.